What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming a Get Ready With Me broadcast edition. So today, exciting because I get to film my What's Going On At The U, which is the show that I produce alongside with my best friend, Chelsea. And uh, we do this every other, um, every week. It's either me or it's her. And we go on, uh, um, we film ourselves basically telling the students of UM what's going on that week so that way kids can be more involved and people can um, uh, kind of rely on us to tell them what's going on on campus and how you can like be like participate and be part of that. I do have lashes on. I got them on yesterday. Um, so my eyes are a little bit red because of that. So we get to skip the lash part today, which is exciting because I do not know how to put on lashes. I don't, like it's just, it's mm, not my thing. Mm -mm. Like another freaking sticks. What the heck is going on? I hate doing lashes. I hate. <laughs> Mother freaker. Sister, come here. So I got one eyelash on with the help of my sister, but I'm not doing it. Okay, right, so my hair is up, and now we're gonna get started. So first things first, we gotta do the whole skincare thing. So I'm gonna go in with my hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. Every time I wash my face, this is the first thing I put on after. Okay. Then we're gonna put on my moisturizer. So for the days that I do makeup for TV, I like to put everything that has the word matte in it because they get very shiny and it looks bad on the camera. So I use this one from Sephora. It's a super hydrating, mattifying moisturizer. So this is what I've been using and it's worked really well for me and it's from the Sephora collection. So we're gonna use this. All right, so now the skin's ready. As you can tell, I'm very red. I probably have rosacea. I've never been actually diagnosed, if that's even like a diagnosable thing. Um, but I get really red very easily. So I got this, which has helped me a lot. It's the It Bye Bye Redness by Cosmetics. And it just works really well for my skin. So I just put a little bit on my cheeks and like the areas where I feel like I'm the most red. So that won't take away all the redness. So then after I go in with Tarte Cosmetics um, Contour Concealer. So this one, really popular. I see a lot of people use it, so I use it as well. And then I just put it right there where it's still a little bit red. Okay, so after I have the concealer and the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness, I'm now going to focus on my um, tinted moisturizer. So I got this, I've been using this brand, I love It Cosmetics just because they, I feel like they specialize a lot in like redness and stuff. And so I use this every single day, oil-free matte, um, poreless finish, full coverage cream, and it's anti-aging with SPF. So I use this um, just kind of as like part one foundation, and then part two foundation is um, Makeup Forever. Um, powder foundation also says matte on it so I use this it's just a powder and it comes with its own little thingy and it covers really well and it makes me look super matte like just super you know good for TV so we're gonna put both of these on So that is my like overall face is pretty much done like the base of it and as you can see I'm still a little bit red like right here. It's so hard for me to get like completely not red but like what can I do? It's part of life, it's part of my skin and I'm just grateful, you know? You gotta be grateful for what you have. This is the key to not looking oily and shiny on TV is setting powder. Like I will take this with me right before I go um, on screen I'm gonna put it all over my face. And it does such a good job of making you look so matte and like poreless and like 
that. So I'm gonna put this on. Um, I do that thing where you like you leave it on just for a little bit. So I put that on, I leave it in just for a little bit. Um, that's where I get most oily in my nose and like my cheek right here. Sometimes my forehead, so I put a little bit on there too. And then we're going to wait a little bit and then we're gonna spray it out. So normally, um, this is when I would do my lashes and I would like mascara slash put on strip lashes because on TV it's so easy for you to look like you have no lashes, even if you do have strips. So it's really important to go like extra. But now that I have lash extensions, I'm not gonna have to worry about that. But if I did, if I didn't have the lash extensions, then I would put on my lashes right now. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna go into contour. So I really like using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It smells like chocolate, it's so good. Um, so I use this with a small brush. Girl, no jawline. <laughs> and it's okay. Like, I'm fine about it. Maybe one day. So after we put, like, the base contour on, now I'm gonna get um, just a regular bronzer from Sephora. This one from, like, Sephora brand. And then I get a bigger brush, I kind of tap it in there, I tap the excess off, I just kind of like blend that in with the contour that I had made before. So, I really like to look subtle and natural on TV, but like put together, if that makes sense. Like I don't like going too extra. I don't feel like my face looks good with two extra, so. Okay, so I put that on, and then, we are going to put on highlights. So I have this from uh, Tarte Pro Glow. This is my sister's, shout out to my sister. And we're gonna put this on my cheekbone, like right here on top. So I use this cute little brush. And uh, I'm gonna do a mix of this top one and this one, just to give myself a little shiny on top. See, like, look at my little nose, it's shiny. So I like doing that just cause like looking like a good shiny a good like highlight like wow she stands out or i like to think i do <laughs> okay and then we're gonna put on some lip gloss so i have to get that i'm not a really big fan of lipstick like changing like the color of my lips and uh, that is pretty much my finished face for broadcast then hair comes down we fix up the hair a little bit. Um, so I get my hair done by Hair with Claire here in Miami. She's been my hair stylist for years, and she, um, number one, is amazing, and number two, she curled my hair yesterday. So it's kind of still like fresh curled. Um, I don't want it to be too like there, so this is a like, perfect natural, but not natural. That's my look. Natural, but not natural. Okay. So basically, um, we're pretty much done with this look, so now um, I'm gonna look over my script, practice it, get to school, film it with my best friend, and then it'll go up. So you guys, and I always post it on my Instagram so you guys can see it. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, please like, please share, help me out. Um, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you guys, and um, I mean, I thought it was gonna happen, but anyone wants to comment, anything that I could like do, that'd be great. Um, just so I have more video ideas and stuff like that. Thank you so much guys, have a great rest of your day. Love you so much, bye.